guys, so today's video is going to be my May favorites and I'm excited to film this for you guys because I have a ton of new products to show you that I discovered in this month. So I'm going to try to not make this a 20 minute video, but I can't guarantee anything. So we're just going to go ahead and hop on into the video. The first thing I want to talk about are false lashes. I've discovered a new brand in May that I have been really loving and it is House of Lashes false lashes and they're really awesome. I'm wearing, what are they called? I'm wearing the Temptress ones which are really wispy lashes. They're awesome for like every day um, or even just a dramatic look like I have on now. So I've been loving Temptress. Also Siren. Siren's a really great one as well. And I've also been loving Noir Fairy which these are definitely more dramatic. I use these in my Urban Decay tutorial. So if you guys haven't checked that video out, I will link it down below. But another thing I've been really loving from House of Lashes is their eyelash glue. It is by far my favorite glue I have ever tried in my life. It is so easy to use. It gets tacky really quickly. And when your lashes are on, they are on for good. So make sure you use makeup remover to take off those lashes because otherwise you might pull out some of your real lashes because this stuff is no joke, but it's amazing. By far my favorite. I will never use Duo again. And this is about eight bucks, I think. Now moving on to skincare, I have two from MAC I really quickly want to mention that I've showed a lot in my videos this month. First one is the Oil Control Lotion from MAC. I love this stuff. It is so awesome, especially to put on right before you apply your makeup. Like in the morning time, I'll do my morning skincare and I'll wait a little while before I come in and do my makeup just because I don't go straight into my makeup room and apply my makeup. So I like to moisturize again just to kind of make sure my skin is nice and hydrated. And this one's perfect. When you first try it out, it's kind of like you feel like it's going to be a little bit too moisturizing. But once you give it a few minutes to set, it will really sink into the skin nicely and doesn't leave a greasy film on top of your skin like some moisturizers can do. And it is so awesome. It makes your skin feel so smooth. This stuff is amazing. I love it. Hasn't broken me out. Nothing like that. And then this one I want to talk about for priming. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Vibrant C Eye Primer. I've been really enjoying this this month. It makes my under eyes so moisturized. Very, very smooth. I do not use this as an under eye moisturizer. I have a totally different eye cream for that purpose. But I love this for when I'm applying my makeup. Like right before I apply foundation or whatever. I'll put this underneath my eyes. So when I go to put on concealer, it just glides on and never looks capable. It just looks really smooth and it's so perfect. I love this so much. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a really great under eye primer. Next, I want to talk about two more primers really quickly. These are the Bare Minerals Primetime Primers. I have the BB Primer Cream in Medium, and then I have the Oil Control Primer as well. I do the Oil Control one first, and then the BB one second. I used these in my last makeup tutorial, so if you want to see them in action, I will leave that down below for you. Mentioned before, I love this one to counteract my redness, which is the one with the tint, and it just helps me not apply as much foundation if I just use this ahead of time. And this also creates a really nice smooth surface to the skin, so that's why I really love this. I'm actually, I believe I'm about to be out of it. I believe I'm like down here. I've been using it so much. And then this one, of course, is just to help control your oil. And I'm always about trying new oil control primers, and this one has been one of my favorites lately. So Bare Minerals has been kind of winning me over with their primers lately. I love them. I'm sorry, my hair is like absolutely crazy today. It's just it's just not working for me. This is the Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illuminating Cream. I know a ton of people have talked about this and I just started using this this month. You can see my bottle is like super dirty, but I just started using this and I absolutely love it for what I'm doing a day to night makeup look, which I plan on filming that for you guys very soon. Um, I have a day to night makeup look that I go to and it's just one of my favorites and it lasts literally all day. So this is one of the products I like to use in it for when I'm highlighting. I will just apply this to the top of my cheekbones after I've applied my foundation and then I'll put the powder highlighter on top and it really helps lock that highlighter in so it does not move all day and it still stays nice and shiny at the top of my cheekbones. This is such a gorgeous color too. It's literally right in my alley. I love this. It's just like a champagne gold color and it's just, it's beautiful. That highlight, look at that. It is so pretty. I know some people like to mix it in with their foundation. I don't mix highlighters in with my foundation. Um, that's just not something that I personally like, especially during the spring and summertime. But I do like things like this to kind of act as a highlighter primer, if you could say. Okay, so, so now we're going to talk about blushes. I have been loving a ton of blushes this month, but I narrowed it down to five to show you guys because I didn't want this video to be really, really long. So I was like, okay. 
we're only doing five. So first one I want to talk about is from MAC. This is the MAC Blush in Cantaloupe. It is so pretty, you guys. I said this in my haul. If there was a blush that was supposed to be named after me, this would be the color. I love it so much. It is a velvety smooth blush. It just glides on the skin. I'll show you right here. It's a nice just warm peachy color and I love it. I have it on right now. I just have a light wash of it and it's one of my favorite blushes ever. I just apply this all the time. It's perfect. And then I've also been loving two Becca blushes this month. The first one is Damselfly. Damselfly is a beautiful, beautiful color. I think this is a great color for every day. This is also, again, a gorgeous peachy pink color. And those are my favorite kind of blushes. I love peaches, peachy pinks. A little bit pink but not too pink those are just my favorite kinds of blushes especially for spring and summer and this one's just beautiful I love it so much and then we also have songbird which I've been using a ton lately it is so so pretty this is a darker blush and it's more of like a burnt orange color and I love it it has a gorgeous gold sheen to it as well and I really enjoy this color a lot a light hand with these blushes is all you're gonna need because they are velvety smooth and very pigmented but this one is just oh it is so pretty I love that orange color you guys know if you've been watching me for a little while you know I love my oranges Okay, next blush is the last peachy blush I'm going to show you guys. This is Tarte's Blush and Captivating. I did feature this in my last video as well. This is just that perfect peach color, and I love it so much. These Tarte blushes are amazing. They do last for so long, and I love this for any look. Honestly, I could pair a peachy blush with pretty much anything, and I think it looks completely fine. I mean, right here, all these blushes look the same on my hands, but I swear they're completely different. And then the last blush is this NARS blush in Madly. This is such a gorgeous warm apricot color. And it does have some shimmer in it, but you can't really tell at all. And this is a darker shade, so you could even just use this and skip out on bronzer. But personally, I still always use a bronzer um, or I contour if anything. And then I will use this blush on my cheeks and it creates a gorgeous bronzed glow to the skin. And I like that it has shimmers in it, but it's not super shimmery. Like you wouldn't be able to tell on your cheek. And it blends out really, really well. This is probably the creamiest NARS blush that I have. So this is absolutely stunning. Really quickly, I want to mention the highlighter. I've been using non-stop this month. Again, these are by Becca. Becca has had my heart lately. Even though I hate the packaging, <laughs> I love the product on the inside. This one is in the color Opal. I have just used this non-stop because I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's just a gorgeous kind of golden bronzer and looks great with a tan. It's very creamy, super, super pigmented. And this also looks great over that Gerard BB cream. I don't know if you can see it. But this also looks great over that Gerard BB cream because they're kind of like that same color scheme. So this is beautiful. But then another one I've been loving from Becca. This was my first Pride and Joy. This is Moonstone from Becca, which is just a gorgeous champagne highlight. I think it's just a classic highlight. Um, it's beautiful. You can see the difference between this one, which is opal, and then Moonstone right here. For a setting powder, I have been loving my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is amazing, you guys. I have been using it ever since I got it, and I actually like this more than the Makeup Forever Super Matte Loose Powder, which that's saying a lot because I have gone through three jars of that, and I just love it. This one, for the amount of money that you pay, I think it's around the same price as the Makeup Forever one. This is a full ounce of product, and I think the Makeup Forever one is .35, so... If you want more bang for your buck, I would get this one. And I love how it makes my skin look really nice and kind of soft focused and airbrushed in a way. And I like translucent powders because I feel like they never make me look cakey. And they're just beautiful to set your makeup with. My go-to lip combo, first off, this lip liner. This is Max Lip Liner in Strip Down. Oh, I love it. I have it on today. I think this is like the perfect Kylie Jenner lips lip liner because everybody has been talking about her lips and doing makeup tutorials for her. But I feel like this would be the perfect shade to kind of get that gorgeous plump Kylie Jenner lip because it's just awesome. I love it. It is a darker color, but it looks really beautiful, especially with a darker nude, which I have been loving darker nudes. I don't really like creme de nude or anything like that anymore. But this is beautiful. I even like to apply this all over as like my full on lip color and then just top it off with a nude gloss or something. I have used it so much. It stays on for so long as well. And then for lipstick, 
I have been loving Freckle Tone. Some people said in one of my, my makeup tutorial, I think it was Coral and Bronze, um, they didn't like this lipstick because it looked like my foundation on my lips, which I don't know how. But this is a gorgeous peachy nude. I absolutely adore this. I don't have any nudes like this. And again, you guys know I'm loving the peachy tones. So this is perfect for me right now. I have it on again today, and I just love the combo, especially with strip down. If I put strip down like all over my lips and then put this on top, I just, I love the combo. It's just a darker peachy nude and perfect. I mean, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I have been loving it. And then to top everything off, I know you guys have heard me talk about this, but I want to mention them because I've used them nonstop. The Color Your Smile Whitening Lightning Glosses in Nude and Coral Craze have been my go-to. I used Coral Craze in my last video. I love them. Can't get enough. I have the nude one on today. That boo-boo looks so ugly. Put some concealer on it. <laughs> Only someone who's addicted to makeup would be like, let's just put some concealer on it. <laughs> So the last product I want to talk about is hands down probably my favorite product of the month that I found because it's first off is drugstore and honestly I didn't expect to love it as much as I do. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Magna, I think that's how you say it, uh, mascara. It is amazing you guys, seriously. This is like a perfect dupe for the Better Than Sex Mascara. In my personal opinion, what it does to my lashes, the it does the same exact thing that the Too Faced Better Than Sex one does, but it's like half the price. So this is beautiful on my days where I have not been wearing lashes, which has been a lot recently since the weather has been getting warmer. I've just been using this and I've loved the way that my lashes look. Again, if you want to see them, um, I did use this in my last video as well, but it's perfect, you guys. I think I don't, I don't think I've found a drugstore mascara that's really made me as excited as this one. This has to be the top mascara out of all of the mascaras I've tried. Hands down, 100%, the best one ever. I love it. So I do have a few skincare favorites, but I'm going to feature those in my routine videos that I'm going to do because I'm going to do an updated one so you can see what I've been using. And I'm going to just show you guys in those videos since this one already has like a ton of products in it. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what your favorite makeup product was for the month, especially drugstore. The reason why I haven't been using a lot of new drugstore stuff is because nobody around me, my Ulta, my Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, is getting these new collections. Like seriously, where the hell are all these collections at? Because I have not seen any of them. Like when Maybelline had like their neon something, their neon collection, I never saw that. I haven't seen any new collections at all and it's just pissing me off. I want to play with the new stuff, but nobody has any of it around me. I don't know what's going on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss out on any of my videos. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.